Our founder, Gloria Borges, said, Related to tenacity, heart is the more personal of the two strains of mental toughness. The part of you that says, I can do this because I believe in myself and I know I've got it in me to succeed. Jim McConnell is all heart. Born the eldest of four children to Jean and James McConnell in Kearney, New Jersey, Jim's self-disciplined nature allowed him to lay the groundwork for success. Growing up on the Jersey Shore, he embraced life with fortitude, always putting in the hard work. Jim attended the University of Notre Dame South Bend, Indiana on a ROTC four-year scholarship, graduating at age 21. He started his six-year intensely focused military career at the U.S. Army Ranger and Airborne Schools at Fort Benning, Georgia. This ambitious young Irishman was a long way from home. Jim's military achievements include Rifle Platoon Leader of the 101st Infantry Division at Fort Campbell, Kentucky. Rifle Company Executive Officer and Battalion Support Platoon Leader of the 172nd Light Infantry Brigade at Fort Richardson, Alaska. And Assistant Executive Officer of the U.S. Army Infantry School at Fort Benning, Georgia. As an Army Ranger, Jim is a member of an elite force that conducts special military operations. He has combat and airborne training. He's part of the largest special ops combat group in the United States Army. As art imitates life, Jim could have never imagined that he was becoming battle-tested to face his greatest future enemy. After leaving service in 1988, Jim entered and graduated from Rutgers Law School. He moved to Manhattan to build his prolific 25-year legal career with Hargraves, McConnell, and Costigan. His next mission was to seek and find the most important element to complete his carefully planned life. In 2013, Jim married his lovely wife, Jewel, and adopted their 16-year-old son, Oliver, who was born deaf with cerebral palsy. Their family was blessed in 2014 with their greatest joy, their daughter Katie, who is pure sunshine. Life was better than perfect. And then cancer arrived. In January 2015, at age 54, Jim was diagnosed with stage 3 colorectal cancer. He underwent 16 weeks of chemo, 4 weeks of chemo radiation, a low anterior resection, temporary ileostomy, and ileostomy reversal. Then, nine months after surgery, multiple bilateral lung metastases were found. The oncologist told Jim that his cancer was now stage four, and he would probably only live 30 more months. Jim got a new oncologist. That was 50 months ago today. Lifelong regimented training prepared Jim for what he needed to face. He has completed 120 rounds of chemo, and on March 4th of this year, Jim flew to Los Angeles to begin a clinical trial at USC with Dr. Heinz Joseph Lenz. When COVID-19 locked down the country, he was forced to remain in LA, 3,000 miles away from his family, in a hotel room alone, for two and a half months. And how is Jim doing now? His tumor markers continue to improve. His most recent scan showed a 7% reduction in tumor burden from baseline. And on September 14th, he celebrated his 60th milestone birthday. Jim said, it hasn't always been easy and I can't say it's been fun, but I'm still here. I don't know why, maybe it's God's plan. Maybe it's the endless love and tireless support of my wife. Maybe it's the help from my family and friends. Maybe it's good medical care. Maybe it's airborne and ranger training. Maybe it's green tea and curcumin. I've decided that I don't have cancer. I have life. I have a wife I adore, children who light my life, parents, brothers, and sisters that I love and who love me. I still have life. 
It's a terminal condition, but for as long as I have it, I'm going to enjoy it. I hope you do too. Jim's storied life is exemplary. His devotion to family and generous financial donations to cancer research reflect his priorities. He is grateful for his gifts while showing grace through complications, facing forward, combat ready, believing in a better tomorrow, and never giving up on faith. Jim, may love and laughter light your days and warm your hearth and home. May the blessings of each day be the blessings you need the most. Sally forth, Jim McConnell. No one deserves a bigger life than you do. The Gloria Borges Wonder Glow Foundation is privileged to honor the brave and accomplished Jim McConnell. I'm proud to have been selected to receive this Wonder Glow Cancer Warrior Award. It's not an award that I dreamt of being eligible for, but it's one that I am proud to have received. I view it as a recognition um, of my approach to my cancer which in all honesty, I have to tell you, is, is less that of cancer warrior than that of cancer negotiator. In cancer negotiation, I trade things I don't want to get a thing I do want, which is time. The things I don't want that come with cancer, nausea, hair loss, bowel issues, chronic pain, neuropathy, these are all things that I'm, I'm willing to trade for time. I'll take them for more time. Trading for time has made me acutely aware of impermanence. Mine particularly, of course, but not just mine. For me, at least, that awareness has caused me to focus on just how precious every moment is. September 2016, my first oncologist told me I shouldn't expect to live beyond February of 2019. That week, I made two decisions. First, I decided that I was going to focus on everything good in life to be grateful for every moment in life. I'm not always able to do that, of course, but it's a goal. Aggressive gratitude. It helps me manage my focus in a way that I think makes the best use of whatever time is available to me. I'm fortunate to have a family that makes that easy. I'm grateful for my wife, Jewel, my son, Oliver, my daughter, Katie, my parents, my brothers and sister, and a large circle of friends and extended family that continue to support me. Second, I decided to get an oncologist that was more interested in getting me more time on earth than she was in validating her view of survival statistics. And I did that. We've all heard the phrase that time is money, but in cancer research, and particularly in funding cancer research, I think it's the other way around. Money is time, which is what tonight is really about, time. The time that results from research and from funding for research and from the development of new and increasingly effective therapies for colorectal cancer. I am extraordinarily grateful to Wonderglow and to Becky Keller particularly for their tireless fundraising efforts to bring about a cure for colorectal cancer. Becky, of course, introduced me to Dr. Lentz, to whom I am likewise enormously grateful. I first met with Dr. Lentz in August of 2019 when he alerted me to the Onvan Certib trial that I began in March of this year, and which has kept me stable since. I traveled to LA from New Jersey to participate in the trial, ended up on account of COVID getting locked down in a hotel room in LA for two and a half months. And during that time, Becky and Wonderglow and Dr. Lentz and USC supported me every step of the way, including Becky and her husband, Mike, making Trader Joe's runs for me when I was feeling too lousy to do anything for myself, and Becky's mother praying for me. It's that aspect of Wonderglow, its partnership with Keck, that I think is unique. When you support Wonderglow, you aren't just supporting research. You're supporting a family, a smart, caring family, dedicated to finding better treatments and ultimately a cure for colorectal cancer. And for that, I am very grateful indeed. So to all of you involved in trading money for time and to supporting the cure, Thank you.